I didn't choose the path in so much as the path chose me. I had no intention to do any of this. I was going to be an accountant. Not only was I going to be an accountant, I was an accountant. I was doing very well in accounting. I was working for the CIT group. I was the operations manager on my way to being a vice president. <sighs> when I stumbled into an open mic. When I was 14, everything went away. I was like, so, okay, everything's gone away. Why don't I build what I want? And so I was like, I'm an artist. I really embrace the idea of being a multi-hyphenate creative. I'm a poet, I'm a voiceover artist, I'm an actor, I'm a speaker, I'm a memoirist. I embrace the idea that my artistic work cannot be contained. At one point you're like, well, maybe I won't make so much money or maybe I need to go do these other things as I'm growing up and I'm married and I'm family and um, they're just all these practical reasons not to invest in art if you are listening to kind of like conventional wisdom. Um, the reason why I picked it back up is that in all the other things that I tried to really express my voice, I found space and I found that those things could take my voice. But one morning on my 40th birthday, I really was struggling with trying to produce a film and having been out of the classroom for four or five years and, and not really taking and just being, um, just feeling like a failure. And as I sat down to play on my instrument, uh, perhaps the most articulate expression of emotion that I've ever had kind of came out of me through that instrument. And all of a sudden, I realized that, wow, look at this, this is, my, this is who I am. This is my voice in a very real way. I think what we want to do is make sure that these artists that are right there on the cusp are able to then score. I think beyond that, Next is more than just uh, art for the sake of art. It really is about how do we take individual artists who understand the power of their own art, who are already committed to community, and how do we create a space where they can collaborate and together be even more powerful in the service of the things that we feel strongly about. I think that's one of the most powerful things is letting people in and being able to share who understand your experience. Doing that through art, through a painting, it's easier to just say, hey, what you going through? <laughs> but if I can share what I'm going through through my work, then it opens up conversations and we're able to build a community to hold each other. They had a show at um, Sugar Hill all these folks played and like I would walk around it was this whole oh, Corey where you been how you doing ah oh, where's your cello are you gonna play tonight and it was clear that I needed my cello <laughs> it was clear really talking about the things that are happening in today's society and how we as artists can make a change and a difference I think of myself as an artist as part of a longer lineage um, artists have for millennia been the catalyst of liberation, the catalyst of revolution, the catalyst of uh, subverting oppression and of subverting um, the power structures that unfairly target marginalized communities. It's something where when I encounter it, I'm not going to condone it or be complacent about it because I also know that if it's not checked, it will only amplify. It's about bringing those artists together like we've done throughout history and create a real and positive impact in our communities. These artists, they are the shining stars of our communities. They are the individuals that fuel us as a community, they heal us when we're broken, they, um, they speak for us, they give us voice to the things that we're concerned about or we struggle with. And I think we have a responsibility to artists to really be there for them and provide them with the support that they need to be able to do more of the same. And so I think it is the highest measure of self-love 
to love and support a community's artist so that we can continue to be fed and nurtured by them. <laughs>